But at the end of the day, what YouTube has shown us and what streaming has shown us is that an hour and a half of your time could be taken up by something that costs five bucks or $500 million. At the end of the day, it's the same thing. And that's what scares the shit out of the studio system. Hmm. Because a guy like you or I shooting this little podcast could maybe get five million, which would be amazing, but get five million um, viewers to watch it. That's more That's more, more than most television shows. Mm-hmm. And it cost $20 to make. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's, you, the, that's the difference. Yeah, you're, you're, you're completely right. Time is time. Absorbing, uh, consuming content is the same. If I consume a $300 million piece of content or a $3 piece of content, it's still an hour and a half of my time. The advertisers who want to get their eye, my eyeballs on them, it's the same thing. That's why YouTube, these YouTubers have so much power now because they realize they're like, oh, well, if I'm going to watch videos, I can produce them for so lo- so little. The, 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 whole, the whole world has changed right now in a way that um, everyone's still trying to figure out because it's changing faster than anyone's figuring it out. So the thing is to try to be a little bit ahead of the curve, just a little bit ahead of the curve. But when Netflix showed up, that opened the door. Now Amazon threw their hat in the ring. Now Hulu's there. Now Apple's throwing their hat in the ring. You know, AT and T has their own channel. Everyone's got their own channels now. So now we're. I think there's 450 scripted shows going on right now. That's insane. A year. That's insanity. But look at all the, the all the opportunities that are now for filmmakers. This has got to be a huge moment for content creators. It is, and it's not going to get any less. Like it's not like we're going to create less content in the future. It's only going to be more content. But we are going to get to a point. I think that. Look, when I was growing up, the cartoons I had were what they were. Transformers were Transformers. G.I. Joes were G.I. Joes. And that was pretty much it. You waited for Saturday morning and that was the end of it. My daughters have instantaneous access to millions of hours of entertainment that they would be interested in. Millions of hours. So what's going to happen to their kids? They're going to have billions of hours. Of content because of the next 30 years, how much content is going to be created? How many shows are going to be created? And, and, and some of it will go out of favor because it'll be like, oh, that's older technology and uh, we won't watch that, but a lot of it will keep going. 